Howdy guys, I'm back with more Fallout 3. Last time I began the journey to Rivet City for Moira's quest, and I ended up in Grey Ditch and the Marigold Station. I then poked my head out of the Marigold Station and found a member of the Brotherhood of Steel who is laying right here, no longer among the living. He gave me a quest, and I thought I couldn't do it now that he uh, passed, but I noticed there were still a couple of blips on the radar when I jumped back into the station, so I'm outside again, and I'm going to see if I can finish this quest, perhaps, even though the person that's going to give me a reward, hopefully, well... I guess he can't give me a reward anymore, but the person that was supposed to give me a reward is no longer among the living, so... Alright, um, I, it looks like on my map it should be somewhere over there. Looks like I can go in here. Alright, let's see, I'm still not sure if this is where I need to be. There's, like I said, these little blips on the radar. I'm not really sure if that's like my objective for for that because there's not really there wasn't a quest for the um for the Brotherhood of Steel guy, so I'm not really sure if I can <coughs> Oh this place is trapped. Huh. Okay, well that's something I need to be aware of when I'm running around inside of this place, that there might be a few nasty surprises. But yeah, there were the blips on the radar makes me think that, oops, is, makes me think that, oh, okay, it keeps hitting me, alright, is there a, do I, how do I deal with this? Is it, oh, it's like the butt of a Brahmin or something, oh, creepy, well I can drag it, but... I can't uh, do anything with it. I guess I should just be more careful. Alright, any booby traps in here? Oh. Mutants! Oh, oh super mutant brutes! Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! I really wish my, uh... <gasps> Whoa, what was that scream? Was that the mutant screaming? Oh my gosh, it startled me! Alright, I'm gonna try... Oh gosh, I'm gonna vats this guy in the face. I don't even care. Alright, let's see. Can we do something about the arm? And the torso? And maybe the other arm? I don't know. Just stop it doing stuff to me. Oh, jeez. Okay, I need to get up and get out of here. Oh my gosh, these things just... I, I love killing things with this, uh... With this weapon, though. I think I'm gonna have to use, um, like a mine or something against, oh jeez, against the super dude here, crud. He's hungry, apparently. Oh, so these guys walk. Alright, so I've got to figure out something to do against super mutant dude here, because he is a bad mother. Alright, stim packs it is. Ooh, that, that hurt me to use that many. Alright, um... Do I... I think... Should I throw... I think I'll try a mine on this guy, because he's just hanging out right here. Oh gosh, I don't think I should have done that. That was probably a bad idea. Alright, I don't... I don't think I can get him close enough to use these mines. Alright, this is clearly a bad idea. I'm gonna go back to... Whoa, I could... No, I don't like the hunting rifle. I do actually like this one a lot now. Oh, looks like he's... Alright, we're just gonna... Have a... Epic shootout right here. There we go. Whatever. <laughs> I'm overcomplicating it. Alright, let me take my mine back and this one too. Alright. And hunting rifle, assault rifle, weapons galore. These guys are living off ant meat in here. Ugh. Okay, that was complicated. Alright, let's take a look at the map again. Alright, so yeah, there's those... Well, you know, I guess there's little white cir or little green circles all over the place on the map, so I don't know if those are just points of interest or what those circles were. I thought I was helping out a member of the Brotherhood of Steel, the uh, initiate or whatever, 
but, uh, oops, I'm not really sure what I'm doing right now, but hey, I'm, I'm exploring, I'm having some fun, forgetting to grab my treasure after looking around, killing a few mutants, getting some experience, and uh, one of you guys told me that every single area does have something interesting in, okay, I've come full circle here, let me go back where I was, skeletons, lots of them. Alright, what's... No, another empty desk. Okay, I'm a little turned around in here. Alright, more empty desks. This place has been... Ooh, ne never mind. I was going to say this place has been thoroughly picked clean, but there's a few things here and there. One sad little bottle cap. And a fire hose nozzle. I don't think so, no. Alright, what's in here? Garbage can with nothing exciting. Another door. I could I think I'm gonna need some water. Fix up my health a little bit. I'm super um radiated now though, I think. Let's take a quick look. Eh, not too bad. I'm getting there though. I'm getting there. Alright, another desk, another carton of cigarettes. Why does everyone stash their cigarettes in garbage bins? That doesn't seem very smart. Okay, I'm thinking I'm just walking in circles here. I'm gonna take a look at the local map. Uh, looks like I've been pretty thoroughly through this place. Um, yeah, I'm, I've probably missed a few little side doors here and there, but uh, large ruined book. Oh, initiate peck. Here's our initiate. Um, I guess maybe that was the scream I heard earlier or something. Well, um, shoot, I guess there's really, really was no point in me coming back without uh, the paladin there. Jeez, I think I just screwed this uh, quest right up. Oh, hello, I missed this entirely. I noticed there's a little glow there. Sweet, I totally missed, would have missed out. Awesome. I wonder if any of these other desks had uh, safes that I missed. Alright, well, um, back outside, I like I said, I thought... I don't know. I really actually don't know what I'm doing, to be perfectly honest. I thought that um, I could still help the initiate. I actually don't remember the initiate's name, if that's the right one, initiate peck. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go... Would it be... F I don't know if this is actually faster than... Uh, walking to the station or not, but uh, is I think is this the door behind me or am I turned around? There's a good chance I might be a little turned around <laughs> still. I'm a mess, you guys. Sorry. Hold on. Alright, local map. Alright, Marigold Station is t in front of me and to the right. I can use a map, can't I? Yes, okay. <laughs> Alright, so that was a complete waste of time, but it was a little bit of fun. Um, and I'm right in front of the station. Oh, okay, I'm an idiot. Alright, there we go, there we go. Alright, guys, wasted about ten minutes just to end up where I uh, ended last time off anyway. Yeah, I wanted to uh, finish going through the station here. I, um, I don't think I went down this way, no. And this is going south, which Rivet City is to the south and east. So it makes me think that perhaps I'm, I'm, I'm going the right way, or I could potentially go the right way. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio. Should I listen to Galaxy News or on? Hey, kiddies, oh. this is Three Dog. Bow wow, your voice in the darkness. Or at least the radiation. We interrupt our regularly scheduled program for some news. It's time for an update on that Vault 101 Peacekeeper. That's me. A gal who proves that not everyone out there is a complete asshole. Hey now. Little Miss Vault 101 was spotted over in Arafu, where the settlement has been hit pretty hard oh, lately by I think a rotting I've heard gang this. of riotous ruffians. But it would seem that after 101 made a little solo sojourn into the murky depths of Moresti Station, the attacks stopped. But Sherry on top? She emerged a short time later with a lad named Ian West, who presumably had been taken captive in the latest raid. 
So what happened down there in the stinking, slinking subway tunnels? Friendly chit-chat? Or a classic case of shotgun diplomacy? In the end, I guess it doesn't really matter. Arafu is quiet once more, thanks to the efforts of the Lone Wanderer from Vault 101. Until next time, this is Three Dog, Ow! and you're listening to Galaxy News Radio, bringing you the truth, no matter how bad it hurts. Up next, we've got a public service announcement. Listen up, children, this stuff's important. For all you guys and gals tempted by the thought of scaving in the downtown DC ruins, here's a tip. You see, children, the Frankensteins might violently and horrifically rip you to shreds but only if you're lucky. According to most of our reports on the super mutants, they actually prefer capturing their victims and hauling them off to God knows where. Consider yourself officially warned. Now, some music. Oh, boys. So, uh, pretty much the same thing and I've already heard. now, one of my inspirational quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry Eaton. Straight to your heart. May our country be always successful. But whether successful or otherwise, always right. Whoa. Okay, hold on. There's a person in here. Which, um... Okay, that's kind of interesting because uh, while I had the radio playing, you guys saw me loot the body of a person with a name. Looks like he got chewed up with ants. Got some pretty swaggy new goggles from it, but who's this guy? What's going on in here? Well, you startled me. You really mustn't creep up on people like that. I wasn't expecting someone to be in here. All right, sorry I didn't expect to... Oh, hey. Sorry I didn't expect to bump into anyone alive down here. What the hell are you doing down here? Creep on you. I just crapped my pants for crying out loud. Uh, kind of that. I was a little bit startled, but I don't think I was crap my pants startled. Uh, let's go with the... Uh, I guess apparently I'm a peacekeeper, which means I'm a pretty nice girl, so I'll continue being nice. Sorry, I didn't expect to bump into anyone alive down here. That is precisely why this is the ideal place for my work. Do you realize you're trampling about in a delicately balanced and highly sensitive experimentation area? Balanced? Did you see all those ants out there? Experiments? What do you mean? You call this a laboratory? How about we start the experiment by decorating that wall with your brains? Um... That's pretty extreme. Let's, uh, let's ask him what he means by these experiments. Let's get some information out of him. My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh, wait! I'm a scientist! How marvelous! Oh, boy. My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. Reducing the girth. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth-induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? Um, okay, so basically he doesn't want the ants to be as big, which I'm down for, but, um, I, I would rather get a really big can of Raid instead of, uh, you know, manipulating genetic... Okay, how about explaining that for the slower people? Okay, okay, enough with the mumbo-jumbo. Slow down, Professor. Once more in English. Uh, can we get this, uh, skip the story and get to a solution? Alright, how about for the slower people, including yours truly? Hmm. Well, let me see. Well, you start with a generation of very large ants. You simply inject the current brood's eggs with an engineered mutagen. Then, the next generation should be smaller. Do it enough times, and you may be able to reduce them back to their once original tiny size. Oh boy, that sounds like a long... Well, I don't know, I guess, um... How long... Hmm. I guess ants aren't like humans, where, you know, the whole process would, you know, take generations upon generations. It could be something done in a few years, I guess? I don't know. So, what's gone wrong? Are you aware that your new ants breathe fire? <laughs> I've got news for you, Brainiac. It ain't working. Uh, you are aware your ants breathe fire. 
Well, this is rather embarrassing, so you'll have to forgive me, but it appears that I've made a slight miscalculation in my mutagen samples. What? Instead of lowering the size of the ants, the brood hatched and developed a, a new biomechanism. <sighs> I call their genetic aberration pyrosis, the ability to emit flame from their bodies. I may be able to correct this error, but I can't get near my equipment. Uh-huh. Oh, man, you know, why does every single, like, problem start with some asshole scientist meddling in stuff he has no business meddling with? So, the reason the ants are breathing fire is thanks to this knucklehead right here. I ought to just... I should have gone with the uh, original, like, response of painting the walls with his brain matter. Alright, so all that needs to be done is eliminate the remaining ants. Uh, you call yourself a scientist, that's rich. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm a little honked off about the fire-breathing ants. I'm gonna go with this. There's no need to be rude. <laughs> Science must learn to crawl before it walks. If you're not interested in helping the situation, then I suggest you let me get back to perfecting my mutagen. Okay, fine. I'll help. Oh my gosh, and then he just... I'm finding your quits. interruptions trying. The slightest mistake because of your distractions and my experiments will be ruined. Your experiments are going to be ruined when I take a baseball bat to your face and... All right, uh, let's, uh... Oh, gosh. Oh, I have to go through the whole dialogue thing again. All right, well, what happens if I'm kind of mean? Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm afraid that might make him hostile. You call this a laboratory? I've chosen this room as a temporary retreat from which to contemplate my erroneous figures for my experiments. It may be a bit dark and damp, but such annoyances will not stand in the way of science! Uh-huh. All right. Um, well, shoot. Um, I don't know if I want to do this or not. I really don't want to go. I, 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 w I do want to help if there's a quest, but gosh, I have to go through all this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So enough with the mumbo jumbo. Actually, hold on. Can we get to a solution? Oh, my. I suppose I do tend to ramble on about all things academic. Uh-huh. My problem right now is I can't reach my terminal to make the proper adjustments and repair the damage I've caused. All right, what can I... All right, what exactly do you need? My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the Ant Queen. <sighs> if I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. Why is the Ant Queen over there? I wonder if the Ant Queen is familiar with the Murloc... Or Murloc... Whoops, wrong game. Myerlock King... All right, if the queen's your concern, why not deal with it directly? Why not just kill the queen and be done with it? So you want me to pop the queen, huh? Eee, let's go with, so you want me to pop the queen, huh? Oh, no, no, no. The queen mustn't be harmed at all. <sighs> Months of work would be lost. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Ooh, filthy little abominations. All right, so I'll go in there, guns a blazing, and whatever makes it out alive makes it out alive. How about that? Uh, just how will all this undo the mayhem you've caused? This will stop the fire ants? Question mark. Yep. No, it should all wrap up rather nicely. I've rigged my equipment to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Uh huh. Once I send this pulse, all the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy, destroying each other in the process. Uh huh. However, there is one final detail I need your help with. Could you do something about Brian Wilkes for me? Uh, who the... W was that the guy that I found dead back there? I'd be glad to help him. <laughs> I'd be glad to help him. Who is he? Wilkes, I have no idea. Wilkes, I have no idea what you mean. Who the hell is Brian Wilkes? Let's go with that. He's a rather bothersome young lad, always asking interminable questions and, and interrupting my calculations. Uh... After you're done down here, perhaps you can locate him on the surface and speak to him. Just speak? <laughs> okay. If it'll stop the ants from burning down Grey Ditch, I'm in. This is a hefty task, Doc. I'm going to need serious incentive. Books aren't going to buy me new am ammunition. You want help? Fork over some caps, Einstein. Let me get back to you on this. Alright, this is a hefty task, Doc. I'm going to need serious incentive. Yes, I suppose you're right. Science must learn to acquiesce to your standards in order to advance itself. I was merely going to offer up one of my mutagenic bio-enhancers, but I suppose I could up the ante. I will also award you with my old lab coat. It served me well over the years, 
and you may find it useful for your own experiments. Or I could shoot you in the face and take the coat myself. Alright, if it'll stop the ants from burning to uh, mutagenic bio, what? I've managed to isolate some of the fire ant genes and distill them into human safe genetic enhancers. Huh? I can inject you with one of these formulas and you'll find yourself with either enhanced strength or enhanced perception. Ooh. Not only that, but you will be somewhat more resistant to fire. Ooh. How marvelous. Well, seeing as I'm sexually attracted to fire and run into it every chance I get, that sounds marvelous, as you would say. All right, if it'll stop the ants from burning down Great Itch, I'm in. You will? How marvelous. Be careful, my friend. The nest guardians can be quite tenacious. Oh, boy. All right, my work is done, Doctor. Uh, what else can you tell me about these fire ants? Um, about your experiments? All right, uh, what else can you tell me about the, these fire ants? Well, the mutagen has enhanced their fortitude and provided them with what I call pyrosis, the ability to emit flame biologically. I want that ability. They're quite radiation-free, however. Well, as radiation-free as any other mutated creature in the wasteland. Uh-huh. So I'm guessing you've been munching on them. All right. Um, let's see. How did you go from ch changing their size to breathing fire? Yeah, really, that doesn't sound like one of those I accidentally missed a semicolon or didn't close a bracket. This seems like your research veered off into a pretty strange direction. All right, yeah, how did, how did that happen? Playing with genetic codes isn't simple. Do you realize one tiny tweak at any point in the last million years could have completely changed us? Going from attempting to change their size to generating their pyrosis ability is no surprise at all. I guess that's true. I mean, I'm not sh I'm no science person or anything like that, but I have um, I'm, and I obviously don't know how true it is, but they say that uh, humans are only like a couple of like. And I don't even know. They're pretty closely related to apes, and it's like 90% related or something with the genetic code. I don't know how any of that works. I, it was years ago, but I guess he's right. You change one tiny thing and everything else goes insane. Look at the kind of genetic disorders and stuff there are, right? Okay, so will anything special hurt the ants? I'm afraid they are not susceptible to anything I can think of that wouldn't harm the garden variety giant ant. Ooh. Just aim for their antennae, if you can. It, it will confuse them quite a bit. All right, so go for the head. All right, how the heck can the ant breathe, an ant breathe fire? We've already talked about that. But... The stimulation of the subject's evolutionary trigger by the mutagen caused a biodefensive reaction metamorphosing the ant's venom glands. Oh. This process caused unexpected oscillations in the venom molecules at such a vast rate it produces a thermodynamic biochemical reaction. As the subject ejects the volatile solution, it becomes conflagrant due to new structures in its maw. I call it calefaction array. Uh, Amazing, isn't it? Yes. Yes? Yeah. I, I, I have to go. Actually, what happens if I say my work is done? Please, don't insult my intelligence. You didn't even enter the hatchery. Aww. Now, I believe you have a job to do. Hey, 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 don't rush me. I'm, I'm going to look around in here a little bit first. Maybe, oh, all this is, oh, man, my weight is all at 199, though. Ooh, I can't take anything. Well, I mean, other than, ooh, so many valuables. First aid. Um, I can take that. I should probably take the purified water. Uh, I'm sure I'll come back in here, so I'm not really worried at all. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to take the iron, though. That was an accident. Arg, uh, here, back in you go, big heavy thing. Alright, uh, let's see. Nuka Cola. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to probably come. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back for this. Ooh, pre war money. There we go. Definitely gonna have to come back in here, but. No doubt that I will anyway. Ooh, hello. I'll go ahead and ha help myself to that. I can't sleep in the... I can take his gun and his pork and beans, and I can open up this ammunition box, but sleeping in the bed, that's that's taking it too far. All right, maybe I can stuff something else in here. Um, I've got like 11 ant meats. I'll just... Yeah, here you go. Hey, fair enough exchange, right? 
right? I suppose I could answer a few more queries. No, 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 no. I'm off doing your thing now. All right, so oh, I should probably get down here. There's something crawling around over here. All right, so I need to find a hatchery. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go back to the laser pistol, Ooh, especially if we've got uh, things breathing fire. This gun's not bad, but not for what I'm doing right now. I actually am quite a fan of these laser pistols. They're pretty fun. I love uh, vaporizing. Oh, I should probably get one. I love vaporizing everything. Well, if I can ever aim. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh my gosh. It's got one more health there. <laughs> that was harder than it needed to be. Alright, back down, and let's see, I guess I should, um, I'm going to make this my active quest since I'm down here. Um, kind of stinks, because it means I'm going to have to uh, hike back to Grey Ditch, which, I don't know, maybe it won't be so bad with, um, you know, if I just pay attention to the map or whatever, which hit <laughs> me in maps. Alright, I'm uh, going to help myself to some more goodies in here. Really, really running out of space, though, for all of my treasure hunting. I'm going to have to leave and either sell some stuff or, I don't know. I was holding off on the um, uh, quest for Megaton because I wasn't sure if I wanted to blow Megaton up or save it. I might really like to have that house in Megaton, so I might end up saving it, especially if it's the only, like, real proper town, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how Rivet City is going to compare to Megaton, that's why I'm kind of... Plus, I don't want to blow it more. I don't want to blow it Moira. She's so sweet, right? Alright, I've been taking quite a bit of damage from all these friggin' fire ants here. Ooh, what's going on here? Is that... Anything to be concerned about? All the steam shooting up here? Hopefully not. Alright, um, I can go in here. Alright, little goody room. Oh, lots of goodies. Let's see. Man, I'm... St oh, jeez, I thought I was getting it. I haven't broken that many bobby pins. I'm pretty pleased with, my s with how few I've kind of broken. Alright, a lot of valuables all throughout this place. I, um... Grady's fire hose box. Grady's safe key. Who's Grady? Yeah, I'm I'm one ooh. I'm wondering if some of the stuff I'm finding, like I found that uh I got that other key too. I'm wondering if I'll find their houses later on or something. Alright. Um Alright, moseying along. Cleaned that place out pretty well. Alright, looks like this is a dead end here. Gosh, I thought I would actually make some uh, progress toward Rivet City today, but I think I've actually gone backwards. Alright, another ant there. Dead end here. Alright, this one's a warrior, so I'm probably going to need to heal up pretty soon. Oh, I don't think I'm even hitting this knucklehead. Alright, let's just hit him in the head repeatedly. Oh my gosh, barely moved things out. Well, he's not breathing fire. That's a good thing. No. <laughs> I don't think I'm hitting him. Am I hitting him? I'm hitting him. It's just taking quite a bit. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. One more. There we go. Tons of experience, though, so that's really nice. And take your meat. And let's see. Where am I? Alright, looks like... Oh, my gosh. The hatchery was the complete and total opposite way. Grand, just grand. Alright, it's fine. I, um, I've gotten to explore the pr place pretty thoroughly now, so that's fine. In fact, I could, uh, oh, I thought this was, oh, did I miss something? I did. Alright, I'm over-encumbered, which is fine. I'm going to turn around and drink those colas, I think. There we go. And, um... Uh, gosh, I've used up, like, most of my food. There we go. Um, hmm. Alright, yeah, that'll work. That'll work for now. Alright, so I can just go straight ahead. And, let's see. So the hatchery... So the hatchery should be far down here, right? Is that... Like, I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. Since I've made it my active quest, it'll be pointing down here, but this is a dead... Is this a dead... Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I thought it was a dead end. 
lights are on here. Oh, terminal, what's this? Alright, um, set terminal, inquire. Alright, I guess I could try, um, do I get to try doing the hacking thing again? Run, debug, Oh gosh. Alright, so I read the comment on this, so I'm supposed to try finding is... Oh, okay, I thought I was supposed to uh, click on these or something. Uh, maybe I didn't quite understand the comment and I need to read through it again. Ah, uh, jeez, okay. I I don't know what I'm doing. All right, briefly granted a lot of ed words, not really any ing. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna end up getting locked out. So if I power that down and try it again, oh geez, it takes so long to go. Oh oh no, okay, it goes right through. All right, a lot of ing words. I don't think there were many ings last time. Uh, let's see, two of three, so makes me think it's not an ing word. So, an i- <gasps> Oh! I just picked one! Cool! Alright, alright, that was like my first successful hack thing? Disengage lock? Ooh, I feel so naughty, I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, clearance granted, unlocking, am I done now? I guess that's all I can do. That is cool, so was it this door that I unlocked? Oh, goody hut. Oh my. Well, that was cool. I'm going to end up super overburdened in here, aren't I? Well, maybe, uh, well, since I, I'm at 30 minutes, I will, oh gosh, I don't think I should have picked that one up. I'll uh, do some inventory sorting. I know I've got a few guns I could probably repair. That's new. Ripper, what is that? It looks like a, um, um, <gasps> a chainsaw? Oh yeah, let's put that on number six. Uh, number si oh, did I? Oh no, I put it on the wrong number. Dang it, that's not where I wanted that. Oh man, uh, that's all right. That's kind of annoying actually, but I'm definitely probably going to use that first aid box, another knife, ammo box, and a naughty. Nightwear. Ooh, look at that speech. That's what uh, Grady's safe key was about. Let's go ahead and try that on. So, naughty nightwear. Eh, it's not all that naughty. I definitely own way naughty. <laughs> Who wants to know this? No one. Alright, guys. Well, I accomplished pretty much nothing today. I uh, ran around outside a little bit thinking I could have still done the Brotherhood of Steel quest. I probably still can. I don't know. There's those little circles over. It kind of makes me think I can, but there was a circle somewhere else, so maybe I'm just confused. Used. Maybe I can still do it. I just have to go there. I don't know. But, um, alright, well, uh, I'm gonna take a little, well, next time I'll take a little detour from the Wasteland Survival Guide and finish up with those with the ants. Oh, thank goodness the ant queen thing is optional because I think I'm gonna end up incinerating her as well. Hmm. And then I'll need to find Brian Wilkes out in Grey Ditch, so that should be a barrel of monkeys. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching me play Fallout 3. I'll deal with the ants next time. Bye for now guys.